There are many competitions at the fair. People from all around Lee County enter their prize peas and pictures, cookies and cucumbers, paintings and pickles in hopes of taking home the coveted blue ribbon and a hefty $100 check. But one competition towers above the rest in the pantheon of fair prizes. The coveted pink ribbon awarded each year to the best cake maker in the county. This year's competition featured 15 cakes of all shapes, sizes, colors, and tastes, ranging from chocolate to red velvet, from ornate to understated, from diabetic sweet to somewhat savory. And three brave judges would cast their votes for the best. Meet Judge Beth Yao, a legendary baker in Sanford. What goes nice. into a good cake? Good, good, good. Um, I get plain flour. Okay, is that a key? Um, everything's done. Yeah, for, that's the key, especially for pound cakes. Okay. Yeah. Any of these cakes caught your eye so far? Well, I haven't looked at them yet, but yes, one that was uncovered. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I can't say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> then there is yours truly, Jonathan Owens who along with Judge Natalie Ward were relative newcomers in the judging world, but not newcomers to cake. I reluctantly put down the Biggest Loser contest for a few hours on Wednesday to sample all the delectable goodness the county's finest bakers had to offer. But don't worry, I only tested one bite of each, for the most part. It's a hard life, but someone has to do it. From the 15 cakes, Three were chosen for prizes. Owens for the Sanford Herald. I'm sure everybody knows him. If you don't, you get acquainted with him tonight. In third place, we picked pineapple upside down cake from Sandy Klein. In second was a chocolate almond cake from Linda Mason. And the winner, a 10 layer chocolate cake from Rhonda Wally. Ah, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> 